Welcome to Assist My Team Small and Medium Business Solutions. In this demonstration, we will explore the new features available in the version 6 release of Team Help Desk for Outlook. I will start with the conversation threading option. To demonstrate this feature, I will generate a support case from this particular email. Now, I will reply back to the caller with more questions to the issue. You will also notice that when a new email reply is received from the caller or one technician sends a reply to the caller, the recent portion of the conversation is only added to the thread. Each conversation is arranged in chronological order and redundant conversations are filtered out to present the relevant communications in this single thread. So with the conversation threading feature, Team Help Desk can maintain a consolidated conversation view of all email communications that are sent or received on a particular case. This includes any automated notification emails sent out to the caller or technicians or manager. This provides you with a way to quickly glimpse through the relevant conversations on the support case, thus saving the hassle of opening individual email conversation and trying to get an overall picture. The header entry of each conversation is linked to the actual email item such that if you click it, it would open the original email item in a single step. In Team Help Desk Manager, you can customize or disable this conversation threading feature from the Consolidated Conversation tab of the Case Options settings. The second feature is previewing email in the Outlook case form itself. Simply select the email from the History tab, and a preview of the email would be shown in the, the Second tab. You can view, reply, or forward the email directly with these buttons. You can also reply the email directly with a predefined answer or a knowledge base article. The third feature is this reply to last email button here. This is a shortcut to reply to the most recent email that was sent from the caller. With this feature, you no longer have to navigate through the email history tab just to reply to the last email. The fourth feature is the support for saving Help Desk settings data to Microsoft Exchange. This is an alternative to saving Help Desk data to an external Microsoft Access or SQL Server database. As you are aware, until now, Team Help Desk requires a network database external to Outlook and Exchange to store all global Help Desk settings. This means Team Help Desk can be deployed within a local network area only. This arrangement is reliable and work for most users. But this is a serious disadvantage, especially for those users on wide area network or who might not have access to a network database. So keeping this limitation in mind, we have added support for saving help desk settings data entirely in the team help desk settings subfolder. This is how the Team Help Desk Settings subfolder would look 
like when it is configured to save help desk global data to Microsoft Exchange. At any point of time, as a help desk manager, you can switch the database option for saving the help desk settings. For example, here, I have already configured to save the help desk settings to Microsoft Exchange. I can switch to Access Database by specifying a network folder path. Doing so, Team Help Desk would prompt me if I want to retain the existing Help Desk settings data. Clicking Yes would export all the settings to the new database option. And when this is done, it is successfully done for all users. To read more on the changes and new features in version 6 release of Team Help Desk, please visit the release note page on the product website.